Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Exor. Now that we've looked at all 15 levels of the game, it's time to look at the Exor Designer. As the name suggests, this is a level designer for Exor, and it can also play the game. It's not like, for instance, Repton 3, where you have to play your levels by loading them back into the original game program. It does have the limitation that the levels can only be played individually, not as a series, so there's no letter puzzle and no decoder. What it does have, however, is the Hidden Cavern. But before I move on, just one thing. I was offered the choice between Normal and Road Signs graphics, and I went, I went with Normal. The Road Signs are interesting, but they are confusing, and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So, the Hidden Cavern. One thing I like about this level is there are many places where it looks like it's going to become much easier when you find when you manage to bring the two shields together, and only eventually will you realise that that can't be done. We are given this map piece right at the start, and the second one is not far away. Then when we come out of this area, we can see that when we enter the top right, this chicken will fly to the left blocking our access to the door, so we have to open up a new passage by pushing the fish, getting that force field, and now both fish can be pushed to the left. So what's up here? Well, there's a mask, and now if we try to get the lower mask, the fish will fall and block it off, but if we get the upper mask first, the bomb will be detonated, releasing the fish through the force field, which will also trap the lower mask. However, the solution to this is disappointingly simple. All you need to do is pile up these two fish here, then only two chickens will fly to the left and the fish remains above the line of chickens. Coming out of this area, we see that to regain access to the door we have to release the chicken to detonate the explosive jar, but we don't want to do that just yet because the fish will fall and block our access to this area. And now this puzzle, I really don't know what the designers intended here, because there is a very, very simple solution to this. Just push the fish onto the bomb and you can get the masks. We head over to the far right now. And to detonate this explosive jar we need a column of three fish. There are just three up here, so we need to bring them down carefully. This one first and now both of the others can come down. And oops, I went a bit too fast there. The light switch is the Exor designer's equivalent of the sad masks. I think maybe they felt that the sad and happy masks looking so similar had got a little irritating by this point. The explosive jar flies off to the left and we have to use this chicken to detonate it. And to progress further left, all we need to do is push the fish down onto the bomb. Now here there's a line of four chickens, so if the fish falls they will move left and block us in, but to avoid that all we need to do is cover up the bomb. Uh, this puzzle is one that we've seen before. It was used on level three and not really much has changed. Up here, to get this mask without blocking ourselves in, what we need to do is get the explosive jar into the lower corner. Fortunately, we have the doll to help us with that. And I think I remember seeing over here a chicken that can be used to detonate the jar. That's right, and now... Yes, we can reach the mask like this. Now it's time to release the chicken onto that explosive jar, opening access to the door once again, and that concludes Questor's portion of the level. Magus's first room is a pretty simple one, just get the mask, come up and get the two map pieces. But in this next room, if I get the mask, then regardless of which direction I step, I will be killed, but getting the force field first doesn't help, because the fish will fall through the lower force field, sending the chickens onto the explosive jar and blowing Magus up. So it looks as though we have to leave that mask until the end. 
here if I push the chicken down through the force field, the chickens on the right will kill me, but that's easy to avoid using that fish. And now I just need to push the chickens out of the way, like that, and this mask can be got, leaving the passage still open. Here's another little uh, teleporter puzzle. To come out of this teleporter below it, we need to make sure it's blocked in all three directions, and that's done like this. That brings us into the area between the two teleporters, but we see there are masks on all three sides of the lower teleporter. So once we've taken them, we need to make sure it remains blocked in all three directions. Here the chicken can obviously be used to block it on the right, but to avoid it killing us we have to use the doll and use the teleporter to get round the other side of the doll. Quite a clever little puzzle that one. On the left hand side, this one's more tricky. We have to use the doll, but we also need to use this fish so that the doll will stop moving. That looks right. And now, of course, to move the doll all the way to the teleporter, we have to take the light switch. And we don't want to get the other one immediately, because we need to move the fish across it first to block off the teleporter on the top side as well. Having done that, we can finally get the last mask. No problem about getting it now, of course. And instead of a letter, we find that the XOR designer gives us a little message. It says, Maze Master. How nice. See you next time.